interesting question that you ask about uh, the level of spirituality within the AFL, because I think often people come to the AFL uh, as young footballers, and the assumption that the public often make is that the AFL players have their act together and um, that they're almost like superhuman. The reality is they're not. They're 17, 18, 19 year old males that are on the same uh, journey of discovery that most other 17, 18, 19 year old males are on, and that includes um, an exploration of their sp spirituality, it includes uh, an exploration of values, an exploration of um, why am I here, you know, all those sorts of questions. Um, are really pertinent to the young people, the players that we work with. And often uh, we take the opportunity, sometimes um, out in the van, oh, did you want to go? Sometimes out in the van, uh, we'll have opportunity for conversations um, that are, are really of a, a deep spiritual nature. Um, I think that the important thing too is that uh, we don't force that, force that on any players. It's, it's just conversations that come up as we're travelling along. Yeah. yeah. So even despite that so, having okay. that, that that sort of superhuman um, public sort of image of the uh, of the the AFL footballer, there's still um, some interest in in the, talking about the spiritual issues. And yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think you know you look at somebody like Harry O'Brien and his Twitter account, and you see that, that his discussion is um, deeply focused on uh, issues of spirituality. Oh, yeah. right. And he's not uh, unique. There are other players that um, have those same spiritual questions as well. Mm. Thanks.